Dr. Silva Vinayagam, Director, Public Health and Preventive Medicine, Government of Tamil Nadu. Dr. Amit Shah, Director, Resolve to Save Lives, Indian Operations. Professor Krishna Kumar from IIT, dear friends and colleagues. I am very happy to welcome you all for this unique conference. I don't think you would have heard of a conference on salt. Where is the need for this? Actually, the idea came to us last year. I don't know whether Amit Shah recalled. So we had the 25th anniversary celebration of our foundation. At that time also, we launched some of the salt posters. We had Sri Venkaya Naiduji and Sri Rajini Kant as chief guests and Dr. Amit Shah also. Soon after the conference, he talked to me about the Low Salter organization that I run, the Low Salter group of doctors and non-medical people. So he was telling, why don't we have harvest, make use of it, and have a conference. That's how this idea of having a conference on educating physicians or empowering physicians on salt health was born. Actually, today's paper, in today's leading paper, a leading cardiologist has spoken about heart and health, how to take care of the heart. There is no mention of salt at all. The same thing happened a few years back. One of my colleagues from Bombay sent me a cutting saying that there is a write-up about management of blood pressure without mentioning about salt. And if you see the medical books and textbooks, there is just a line. Avoid high salt or reduce salt. That's all. What should be the salt requirement? Where is it available in the food? What is hidden salt? What are salt substitutes? How do we reduce salt? No, we are not aware. It's not regularly discussed. So that's the reason why we are having this conference today. So Resolve to Save Lives has been partnering with us for this conference. I should acknowledge both Dr. Amit Shah and Dr. Manika Sharma for this uh, co successful conference today. Of course, the backbone of conference is physicians. So physicians, how do we get? And that too, especially on a Sunday. Sunday to get physicians is very difficult. We know we have organized programs. You get 10 people, 20 people. And then you had, fortunately, if you hold it in a medical college, you can fill up with students. But otherwise, it's a very challenging job. And this is where then Dr. Selva Vinayagam and his team, Dr. Nagarajan, have been helpful in helping us to get the primary health care physicians. These are very important group. They are people who are in touch with people. They are physicians who are in touch with the ground reality. And not only that, they are very influential locally. Whatever they say has a lot of meaning. And many of the physicians are socially well-connected, politically well-connected. They are connected to food industry also. So we had to empower these physicians. And so our success of today's whatever is going to be is because of the Directorate of Public Health and Preventive Medicine. And Dr. Selva Vinayagam has been telling the commitment of the government in preventing non-communicable disease. To that extent that he said that the first topic we should start the conference on non-communicable disease and Umesh Kana would be talking on it. I welcome also the other speakers today from all over the country, Dr. Uh, Narsingan, Dr. Umesh Kana, Dr. Bharat Shah, Dr. Sampath Kumar, Zamrud Patel, Dr. Edwin Fernando, Dr. Murgesan. They're all experts who would be delivering the lectures. Last but not the least, I should talk of Professor Krishna Kumar. My association with IIT has been for more than 27 years. So with Professor Krishna Kumar, we devised the first acute dialysis machine in 1997. And after that, there have been several successful projects. To mention the phosphate binder in chronic kidney disease, which is still being used, 
we patented the drug in 1998 or something like that. And we have had several other projects. And in 2017, we had the first salt fight conference where we got Professor McGregor of the WASH, World Action on Salt, Sugar, and Health. He is the first foundation which started in 2005 to educate people on salt. So the World Action on Salt and Health it was, which they added the word sugar additionally subsequent. It was started in 2005. And Professor McGregor, who founded it, gave this lecture here. And other people who participated were Soumya Swaminathan, who was then the di Deputy Director of the World Health Organization, and uh, Anita Makijani, who is from the Food Safety Standard Association, and uh, Professor Murli Dharan from IIT, and of course, Professor Soma Sundaram from the Director of uh, Directorate of Public Health, Tamil Nadu government. So we had a very successful conference here, which was followed by another conference at IIT Mumbai also. So uh, we have been uh, looking back. Sapiens Health Foundation was started in the year 1997 as Balaji Medical Education Trust with the view to help patients with kidney disease on dialysis and kidney transplantation. What we realized subsequently was that Prevention is definitely anywhere more effective rather than um, trying to help just patients, which is very expensive. So in 2005, we started the preventive program with the Japanese, Professor Toma and Tanabe. Japanese people are the world leaders in prevention of kidney disease, especially IgA nephropathy. There it is mandatory to test the urine every year for every child in the school. So that's how they detect the disease early and take necessary action. After that, we have had other programs like having a website on diabetes and blood pressure, sugarbp.org. And every year, we celebrate the World Kidney Day to educate people about kidney disease and the measures that they have to take in preventing it. So today's need, you know, I'm sure all of you are aware, the number one killer in the world is hypertension and its complications. And the single public health measure, cheap and effective, is salt reduction in the population. That's the reason we are having this conference today. I welcome you all again, once again, to take active part in the conference and, of course, take home messages. Thank you.